It's every musician's dream to travel the world playing the great festivals. One gifted young pianist from Adelaide, Kim Perling, is about to experience all that wonder. But when Kim arrived in America this week for his first concerts, he'll attract attention not only for his talent, but also for his remarkable life story. Rebecca Bailey has more. For Kim Perling, music is his life's passion. And hearing the jazz pianist play, it's hard to imagine life's ever been any different. But Kim's life at the keyboard is a far cry from war-torn Vietnam, where he spent the first months of his life. Like many war orphans, Kim spent his first months in institutions in Vietnam. But unlike most, he was lucky enough to be adopted in Australia, one of the first overseas adoptions here. Kim arrived in Australia after his South Australian parents spent two long years lobbying governments and aid agencies alike. We got this letter and we came home, opened the letter and there was this photo and we had to respond about whether we wanted to get this uh, little guy to see if we were straight back. Yeah, <laughs> we, it, it just, just clicked. So where do you think the music's come from then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it, that's what makes me think about my blood, my biological parents, you know, um, whether one of them was a musician and um, whether I'm actually full blood Vietnamese, I'm not sure either, you know. One of them might have been an American soldier who engaged in jazz or music. <laughs> so I, I don't really know where the music came from. May, you know, a lot of people that are in the artistic uh, areas, neither of their parents are artistic themselves, you know. That's an, so it's another thing altogether. So who knows? It's just a gift somehow. Two years ago, Kim's curiosity about his origins took him to Vietnam where he introduced audiences and musicians to jazz, a sound rarely heard in the communist country. With the tour ultimately a success, Kim and his mother took some time out to visit the Ho Chi Minh City Orphanage, where his life began. While the trip didn't reveal the identity of his biological parents, it was a tangible link to his past. Obviously, it stirred some deep emotions in all of us and especially of the um, women that were at the orphan, uh, at the location when we were there, because they obviously remember that time when babies like myself were there in, in, that, in 73 and 72. So, but it was just very inspiring to know that um, this place is still standing at least, and that I could go back there and visit it for sentimental reasons. This month, Kim's on the move again, first to play the great jazz festivals of Europe and then to do his master's degree in America, opportunities he credits to growing up in Australia. Basically, I was just plucked out of a war zone and brought to one of the greatest countries to live in in the world and had a great family life and education and be able to play music now. And that's a lot of, um, better story than some other refugees can say.